Hey, what's up YouTube, Danny James here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create cinematic music video trailers uh, inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get into it. Before you begin this one, remember you can always show your support by visiting my store at dannyjames.co for amazing preset packs and lots that you might find useful. Let's jump into it. To begin setting up this trailer, we'll just first of all start by dragging the entire music video into our sequence. And then I'll play the first minute for this video so that you can have some context behind it. Yeah. 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 And I'm also listening. Okay, I think that should give you a a good summary of what this video involves. So to start chopping off and creating this trailer, just start by taking the first 10 seconds and make a cut. My shortcut key for the cut is a W and then I'll move the rest to my right side so that we have this to begin with. So we'll start with something that looks like this. I will make sure it starts. Yeah. Okay, so we are about five seconds in, okay? Once you have about three seconds playing, expand these audio waves so that you have you can see more of this selection. I'm holding Alt while using my scroll wheel on my mouse, and then I will hold Control, add a keyframe for the audio, and then add another keyframe so that we can lower the volume. Just put the volume to about negative yeah. 30 decibels so that it goes like this. Yeah. Okay, just try to have the volume still a bit more audible. Not clearly audible, just a little bit. Okay, so you want something like this to start off. Once you've done that, just go to the rest of the music video that you have. Just expand it so that you can see all of it. Now we want to choose small segments of the video that kind of hype it up. So we'll need to include a small section of the rapper versing. And you'll also need to get the part of the hook. So get about three selections that you can choose from. Okay, so here we have the hook. Okay, so I'll make a cut right here. Okay, so we have that section. I'll add another cut then put that section that I just highlighted beside. And then I'll give it a different label color. And then I will get two other sections from the same video. So here he says, checks, 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 on niggas. Okay, so that's another small section. I will put it right beside and then I'll find one more by the artist. Okay, he says, yeah, look at the click that I'm running with. So I'll just take that section, put it right here. So you just need about three subsections like this. I'll give them a similar color. I prefer this radiant yellow. So now that we have these, we can just play them side by side. And then this other one. Okay, and the last one. Okay, this could extend just for a few more seconds. Okay, so we have these subsections. So we will use these ones to build up on our trailer. So what I want to do first of all, before we can do anything, let's still go on to the rest of the video and then pick some small sections that we like. So you won't need the audio at this moment. So I'll delete all those and delete these and then I will expand the original video like that. So I will go rubbing through the video, finding some of the best or scenes or some of the scenes that maybe look dope. So I'll make some cuts and then we can continue from there. All right, I'm done 
picking out some interesting parts of the video, some b-rolls, performance scenes and all that, you can delete the main video now and you can move these b-rolls right here, okay? So I just want to make this as practical as possible. So we have the first 10 seconds of the video that is including the intro and then we have part of the hook and you also have small parts of the verse from both artists in this situation. And then you've also picked some b-rolls, uh, very nice clips, you don't need many of them. Then all you need to do is just a matter of piecing these up together. I will start with these two parts which are not the main hook, okay? And then I will make sure this comes at the end because this is what I want us to finish with since this is the main part of the song, this is the hook. So I just want to affix these small sections right here. I will start by dragging this part of the video right where after the volume starts going down. Remember I've left the main part of the hook which is here. I will leave it so that we use this to finish the trailer. So right now I'm just trying to introduce small segments of the song. Since this one comes right here, right between the two keyframes, I'll make sure the audio for this clip starts before the video itself. So I will hold Alt, click on the audio for this, and then stretch it on my left, so that the audio just begins before the video itself that is on top of it. So now we have something that looks like this. Before I forget, you need to click on this audio, hit Shift D so that you can add the default transition so that you have that constant power coming in and off. And then we let it drop down as fast as it did. So you can also have these uh, uh, keyframes, but you can also set up yours. I will hold control, click twice so that I can set my own keyframes. I will extend this audio just a little bit and make sure it goes down like that. And then I will also make sure that there is some silence. Make sure there is some silence at the point of the trailer so that it can sound a little bit more cinematic. What I mean by silence is making sure the screen goes to black at some point so that there is no constant image going through. So right at this moment, I will hold Alt and click on this video, the one that begins, so that we make sure there is nothing coming afterwards. So we have something like this. And then right at this point, I'll bring the, uh, the second part of the video where we still have the artist, okay? So right after this section right here, we're bringing this other part. Remember the hook is still at the end. We still haven't brought our hook. And then we have some blank space where the we need a blank space, as I said, and then you can have this audio just playing in the background, just at a lowered volume. And then we'll bring this other part of the video. Make sure the audio begins before it. So hold Alt, click on that video, trim it just a few seconds, uh, add the default transition, Shift D, so that you have this constant power coming on. And then let's see how this looks like. No keyframes for the video itself, or uh, I mean, no cross dissolve for the video itself. Okay, let's begin it from somewhere like here, where he said Shorty has a big part. And then drag that audio down. I just want it to come after this one right here. Okay, so we've left some blank space. And then right after this point, we just need to get uh, this audio. We need a trailer hit. I will also share this in the description box in case you need it. Okay, we just want to drag that into the sequence. Uh, let's see where we are placing it. I want to place it right after this video sh shows itself. And then this is where everything starts piecing up. We will bring the b-rolls that we took. Uh, you don't have to select all of them, just choose the ones that you find best according to you. So we have this b-roll where he's lighting up and then some more b-roll. I actually like these three. I'll just remove this one here and then just a little bit of trimming. I'll bring this one where he's on his bike. Yeah, I want this part right here. Okay. So I'll put that together 
and then I will highlight on all these clips, right click, go to speed and duration, put them to 300. Make sure to ripple edit, shifting and trailing clips. Okay, so we've reduced the speed on that. I will also give these clips a different name so that it's easy for you guys to reference. And then I will place them right here on this riser. Once they are right there, it means I could play it so that you can hear what it's like. And you can also fine tune your cinematic riser so that it, it makes sense altogether. So let me play it so far. She trying to fuck in the color and maybe say I feel like we need some more b-roll or no if if the space is not sufficient you can change the speed once again maybe put it at 270 okay that's good and then we can finish off by dragging the end of the video that is the hook so that it comes right after everything click on that audio hit shift d so that it gives us this automatic constant power is more like cross dissolve for the audio and then make sure it stays above and make sure the audio starts before the video if it's one thing that you've noticed i'm making sure the audios for each clip begin before the video itself so that is more of a jump cut or an l cut one of them and then uh, almost halfway through this video i will cut the audio split the audio into once and then go to your effects and presets and look for low pass. So this is what we need to use to finish off this video. So put a low pass right there. And then we'll just need to add some small text right here at the end. So get your text tool, click right there. You can write something like coming out soon. Or let's write available now. Uh, Make sure that comes after everything else and let's just realign it well. Click here so that you have these margins. If you can see them, add that under this section. So now I can put it in the most accurate possible way at the center of the screen. And then just align it like that and then leave a little bit of space before available now comes in. Add a cross dissolve to it like that. And then you can also add a constant power for this. And we can preview this from the top so that you can see what it's like. Let me also uh, render it so that you can see it clearly. Okay, with that rendered out, let's just play and see what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay okay so far i think it looks almost perfect i just want to correct a few things here where uh, where we left this blank space i think it would also be good if we cut the audio at that place so i'm holding alt clicking right here and clicking right here I want this place to be total darkness and there should be nothing also playing. Uh -huh. And then I think we can clear this. Okay, sorry. Hold Alt as we bring this like that. And then let's make sure there is a bit of space right here before this audio audio begins. And I just noticed one more thing. We have the B-roll where he's on his bike right here. I think we can also add some sound effects. Uh, sound effects are also important in this situation. So I have these sound effects of a jet ski. Like that. I'll just set it uh, right beneath that clip which is right here on this b-roll and then i'll also give it a what do you call it i'll also give it a shift d so that it has these constant power keyframes raise the volume just a bit okay so i think that should be perfect i actually think it's okay let me just preview it from the top now 
Yeah, I think that's a very interesting trailer. That is uh, 26 seconds long. I think that's what you want to aim for whenever you're trying to create such trailers. Something cinematic. As I've said, sound effects are an important thing. So I link down this cinematic riser uh, sound effect. And in case you're also interested, I will also share the project file for this tutorial in case you want to see the nitty gritty and all the small details that have been put into making this uh, look like it is yeah that's basically it uh, that's how you create a cinematic music video trailer just using uh, the music video itself and adding some sound effects here and there and just being creative with it uh, the aim for this was to make it as practical as possible for anyone in case you've been trying to create such trailers and i hope you did enjoy this tutorial as much as i did prepping it for you guys my name is danny james see you guys in the next tutorial peace yeah. Yeah. Uh, flex, flex, flexing on these niggas. Dread, 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 and all these bitches. Big body bitch. She trying to fuck in the color, and the niggas say, Hey, my flex, my flex, with one of bitch, Prince. One more, and we coming at your head.